Well, they're making it difficult for Salford in these early stages to try and push through the middle. Perhaps having more success down the flanks. It's a good run from Nenny McDonald. He lost the ball momentarily there, but it's picked up by Nikarima, who's away. Nikarima needs some support and he finds it. And straight through the middle for Chris Atkin. He scores the first try of this afternoon. And Salford are back to scoring ways, having been nilled against Lee last week. They've got themselves in front with less than 10 minutes on the clock. Atkin waits at dummy half, goes in towards Sneed. Waiting for support, but, uh, takes a, a little while before eventually finding Shane Wright, who is wrapped up in the tackle. Mella comes up behind again, back towards Sneed once more. A little grubber kick through, and Briley chasing after this one. And Ryan Briley, as we've seen time after time after time, pounces on the through ball from Mark Sneed. Referee wants to have a second look at it. He gives it his try on the field. As Mella screws it through towards Sneed, another long looping pass, but it's to no one. And Cross has done well here to get past the first and into the second. And Ryan Briley in the corner, and that was absolutely superb work from Dion Cross. Somehow he managed to scramble that ball, get through the tackle, and turn it away to make it an easy chance for Ryan Briley. But Nikarima's come away with a lovely ball down the right-hand side for Ethan Ryan here. The chase is on, back in towards Nikarima. And Jaden Nikarima gets Salford's fourth try of this afternoon. And this is turning into a battering in a very, very short part of the game. I'm told to uh, get on with it, though, the referee, as uh, Nikarima looked like he was going one way, then the other. One ball in one hand, still going Nikarima, that's brilliant. That is brilliant from Jaden Nikarima. Turning, dancing, squirming his way through the Huddersfield line. Down the left they go. And Sneed with a kick to the corner. McDonald going up for this one, but so too with three Giants. And he might get picked up and touched down by Ethan Ryan in the corner. And the referee will surely want to have another look at this one. He's giving it as a try on the field. One! Move, Aston! Back with me, Andre. Wait, wait, go one. What? Incredible. He's uh, just signed a deal to do another one as well. Wilson coming away here, though. And talking about an old player. We come to one of the new breeds as Harvey Wilson finds a bit of space and gets another try for the Salford Red Devils. Sneed, lovely ball into McDonald's and they were caught cold there, Huddersfield. And another try is scored, Nelly McDonald gets it. through Ryan Briley and he's got loads of support if he wants it he goes short in towards Mark Sneed who will get himself on the score sheet this time in the column that says try rather than the one that is filled with his name that has goals written across it and Mark Sneed gets another for Salford Golding again, Kujo offloading quickly that's a lovely nice little step and they've got a try through Sam Hewitt and a little bit of a push and a bit of effort. And at the very least, they've got themselves on the scoreline. For the black and whites. Meantime, in comes Watkins in towards Briley. Ryan Briley seals a hat trick for the Salford Red Devils in what has been an absolutely incredible afternoon for them. Ball in through the middle for Fenton Rogers to go chasing through. Tackles coming in all over the place. He looks like he might have stolen one here, Fenton Rogers, from close range. He has. The referee was in the right spot to see that one. And from out of nowhere, Fenton Rogers has got a second try for the Huddersfield Giants, just restoring a tiny, tiny little bit of pride. <laughs>